All right, almost book finished. Um, everything is ready for weekend's cookings. This looks really stressful, but it is not. I'm just made a little bit of what I'm gonna cook which day. I have a little bit of problems with like uh, awareness of time or like to structure time in my head. So I like to put it like this because some things like souffles need to be um, in the in the marinade for like uh, 24 hours and the potato thing needs to be eight hours to become sweet so i need to know a little bit a schedule what i'm gonna cook um nasu stop diving trash um i put all the recipes ready so i can i don't need my phone when i do this here's what i'm gonna do what day uh, tomorrow we're gonna go visit my spouse's family and Saturday as well, so we're gonna eat there So we're go only gonna eat Finnish Christmas food on Sunday, which is fine um, Usually Finnish Christmas is on the 24th, but because we don't really celebrate Christmas in the Christian side, so it um, doesn't matter what day it is So I have saved Finnish, the best for last, Finnish food I'm gonna make some... Mm, Zurbeles, which is uh, Dutch. I'm gonna make some um, carrot casserole, um, sweet potato casserole. I will make zurbeles, yeah, that I already mentioned, and then Karelian pasties. And then I have fish and meat in the fridge already from the butcher. And then I'm gonna make a mushroom salad, like this kind of like uh, creme fraiche thing. And yeah. That's pretty much it. I'm just picking out the ones that I really like, so... Yeah, it's a bit stormy here, so you might hear that. But yeah, now I'm gonna knit a little bit and then I'm gonna hop into bed. It is the 25th, um, I'm up in my knitting room to catch up a little bit. I haven't been talking to the camera that much and vlogging that much otherwise than taking some snips because these few days before Christmas are quite difficult for my spouse so I wanted to respect his space and you know, all that kind of jazz. Um, for me, uh, despite not being with my family, I want to think that I spend all time possible with my family. I spend a lot of time with my family. I'm, all, I'm, I'm a lot in contact with them, so just because we are not able to catch up with these two, three days is not that big of a deal with me. Uh, we, we've exchanged gifts and we've called and we've had a video call, so that's really nice. And honestly, the love that they have for me is strong enough to just kind of like... And then it flies here. So I like to think like that. Uh, Christmas for me, I said, is not that big of a deal. I like to just celebrate more maybe winter solstice and light up the darkest time of the year and that kind of stuff and then by guests says thank you for the year and you know that kind of stuff so but i wanted to respect levis uh levis dislike towards christmas and his own issues around it which are mine to tell but so i haven't been talking that much to the camera which is completely fine um i have however been knitting I have made a lot of Christmas gifts and I decided that for Christmas I will only knit for myself. So this is my Christmas Eve cast on. I will take it. It's a little bit difficult with one hand because I'm using a selfie stick because my uh, camera thingy is downstairs and I didn't have the energy to drag it up. So this is Anna Johanna's budding. Budding? Budding. And um, I think it's Pudding, pudding. Honestly, when I start doubting myself, I'm not sure even which one I think it is. So here it is. I've gotten all the way here. And I'm planning to get all the way to the color work where there's three strands of yarn. So I started from... It's actually easier to show it upside down. So, so I have knit all this until the marker yesterday i started 12 o'clock it was my christmas eve cast on 
I made it all the way here before we went to bed and then I made this today between doing things and going for Christmas dinner so that's really nice I'm planning to it's it's really flying off my needles I really really enjoy this and I'm hoping it's gonna be quite my like main knitting project until maybe New Year's because I kind of want to get the color work done so I can kind of like blast through the rest I'm pretty quick knitting plain stocking it um, and this comes quite quick because it's sports weight yarn um, our Christmas um, I've done a lot of baking yesterday I had a bit of a I can see that the the picture is for some reason vibrating. Or is it my hand? I think it was my hand. I was already like, oh <laughs> sorry. Um I did some baking yesterday. I had a little bit of a cake accident where Nappa ran into me in the kitchen and the cake fell on the floor. So we lost the cake. But it's fine, I'll make a new one. Um I've Put the Zurvlas to the fridge to marinate. I'm gonna put, or I'll put the potato casserole, sweet, sweet potato casserole. So sweeten potato casserole to sweeten. And then uh, I will work probably tomorrow morning the dough for my, um, what is it called? <laughs> well, some, a bakery like, um, uh, it's like a butter dough and you have to like um, roll in the butter then you have to put it in for 30 minutes into the freezer the th fridge then you have to do it and four times it goes f back and forth four times for 30 minutes and it's like 30 minutes times four times that's like two hours man or like the last part you have to still put it back for 30 minutes after the last part so th two and a half hours so it better be really really good so other than that, we were supposed to go, we were having some Christmas dinner with my boss's mom today. We had a really good time. I got this really nice uh, Boston hoodie. I really appreciate that she got them secondhand because we prefer, we prefer to get our, our clothing secondhand. It's always nice when somebody who gives you clothing also does the same. Um, yesterday we were supposed to go to his dad, but we had a little bit of an autistic meltdown moment, both of us. So, um... That didn't happen and it's for us it's it's not a big deal as such sometimes things just don't happen because you get a sensory overload you get a this kind of like autistic it's cold and finished that you your cup tilts over and that was kind of what happened yesterday and it was fine we're recovered now i was a little bit tired in the morning for yesterday's kind of total overload uh we will go exchange gifts tomorrow and and all is good um, but this is the standard life of two autistic people living together. Usually we don't get our mental break mental breakdowns the wrong word. Autistic breakdowns at the same time. Usually the other one is able to be like, okay, you know, pull the pull the brakes, step on the brakes and be like, hey, 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 let's calm the situation. But now both of us had one. So it was just it was just done. There was no one to push the brakes and just call like SOS abort mission. So so that was it. But it's yeah, it's something we've been together for ten years, as I mentioned maybe earlier. So it's not our first collat collateral collat collaborative <laughs> autistic meltdown and autism comes with a lot of good, comes with a lot of negative things maybe. But I think the main thing about living with autism is to accept you yourself as you are, that you will have these things. It's really not nice but in in the bigger end it's not that big of a deal for us of course it might feel to somebody that we have to you know cancel going to an to an appointment because of that but it wasn't arranged just for us we would have just been kind of like plus two so so yeah i mean it's it is what it is but but yeah we made it through to another day and tomorrow is our finished christmas we will be cooking finish uh delights the stuff uh, official finish christmas day is 24th but as i've mentioned i'm not that keen or hang up on the day so we'll make it tomorrow when we have time to really enjoy the food to really enjoy the process to really just yeah i'm gonna go continue this 
and I will be tuning back probably Monday for the last episode of Vlogmas. I wish you all uh, are watching this a Merry Christmas uh, or Merry whatever, Happy whatever. Actually, I wish you Happy Holidays because I guess that's more appropriate. So, whatever you're doing, whatever you're celebrating, whatever you're not celebrating, 